Siemens Embedded Micrometering Module, or SEM3, is a modular metering solution for energy monitoring, data analysis, and sub-billing applications. With a few simple steps, you can configure the system and gain insight across your enterprise. SEM3 can be configured using any browser, but it works best with Chrome. Just type in the SEM3 controller IP address. This video assumes that you have configured your computer to a static IP address so that it can communicate with the default IP address of SEM3, which is 192.168.1.65. In this example, our computer's static IP address has been set to 192.168.1.10. The login screen opens. The default login credentials are admin and SEM3, all lowercase. This is the home screen. It gives you an overview of the entire SEM3 system. To begin configuring, click Settings, System Settings. Here you can configure a variety of items like the IP address, email, system time setup, panel configuration, PLC water and gas configuration, and more. It's highly recommended to set up the SEM3 controller time. The time can be synchronized to an NTP server or set manually. It's important to give the controller a device description. This ensures you're accessing the correct device. Under Panel Configuration, Select the proper settings for the system being metered. Next, select the protocol. Available options are Modbus TCP RTU, BACnet IP, or BACnet MSTP. Modbus TCP RTU is the default selection, and for this example, we're going to keep that the same. If you want a different protocol, change the selection and click Change Protocol. The controller will power cycle and load your selection. When all the necessary parameters are entered in the system settings screen, click Save. The green notification at the top of the screen indicates the configuration has been saved successfully. Now click Settings and select Multipole Configuration. This screen shows the meter modules currently connected to the controller. Scroll down to set up the multipole configuration. In this example, we are allocating one one-pole meter, one two-pole meter, and one three-pole meter. To select multiple modules, press and hold Shift. If you make a mistake, just select the module and click Refresh Selected. This will remove the modules from the pole selection. If you are configuring a two-pole or three-pole meter, the meters must be in sequential order. When the multipole configuration is complete, click Save. If the save is successful, you will see the green notification and the module detection will update with appropriate colors. Next, navigate to Branch Configuration by clicking Settings and selecting Branch Meter Configuration. Here you can define a name for the configured meters, select CT Rating, and set up alarming if necessary. When a meter is highlighted, the configuration menu will appear. For this example, we will name our one-pole meter MCC and select a 250 amp CT. When the branch meter configuration is complete, click Save. The green notification at the top shows the settings have been saved successfully. Now navigate to the real-time screen to view measurements from the configured meters. If you hover over the meter module number, the name entered in the branch meter configuration screen will appear. If you click on the meter module number, all available measurements from this meter will be displayed on the right side of the screen. You can access diagnostics by selecting Tools and Diagnostics. With this tool, you can verify CT direction, meter module dip switch selection, provide Modbus addresses for third-party software integration, download the Modbus device map, and perform firmware updates. Your SEM3 system is now configured and ready for use. Siemens, 
Ingenuity for life.